Man, one of the things I love about being a Christian is that we are saved based upon Jesus' works. That's it. It's not based upon our performance. It's not based upon our sanctification, our spiritual growth. All those things are necessary and result from the work Jesus has done for us. Yes, our fruit, as we say, or our actions, or our good works can tell us something about what the Spirit is doing in our lives. Amen. But ultimately, that's not where we go because our works will always be falling short, period. So where we go to see, man, is God working in me? Is the place the Bible says where we go. We go to the fact that one, Jesus died for everybody. So that's the first place we send people to the reality. Is God doing something for you? Yes, he died for you. Two, we go to this gift of faith that God gives us by his spirit. And we say, man, am I trusting God? Man, I do believe Jesus loves me. I do believe he lived for me and died for me and rose for me. Damn, the spirit is, he's, he's created that faith in you. If it just naturally is a part of how you're processing life and your personal self and your actions and your life, amen. You, the spirit is doing something through this gift of faith. And then also we look to the sacraments where God has promised to show up with his same word of forgiveness, comfort, assurance. And we say, I'm here, I'm receiving bread and wine, Christ's body and blood. He said he's bringing forgiveness, amen. So all these things are outside of us, right? And then as we're looking at our fruit, for sure, we're, we, we wanna grow, but we keep that horizontal, right? I talked about that in two kinds of righteousness. Two kinds of righteousness, call it 2KR. One is horizontal, one is vertical. One before each other, one before the Lord. One is active, one is passive. Keep them apart. So my spiritual growth, my service to my neighbor, to my community, to the world. Um, let's just narrow it down. If you have particular vices or sin struggles as a believer in Christ, and you know what makes God smile and his good idea for what it means to be a husband, a son, a father, a student, a teacher, you're trying to mature and align yourself with God's best ideas for us so that you make life easier for those around you so you can serve people as a healthy person all those things you're doing horizontally before one another coramundo but before god coram deo those things those efforts are not earning you anything they're not adding on to jesus's completed work jesus said on the cross it is finished you can't add to the quality of the resurrection by your performance the bible says we bear fruit in keeping with repentance it's god who repents us and then we bear fruit as a result of that but even our efforts are going to be shallow they're going to be filled with mixed motivations and it's still going to fall short of god's perfect standard because james says if you break one law you've broken them all Isaiah says our righteousness is that of a filthy rag. So our best, whatever we bring to the table is going to be falling short of perfection. Does that mean we don't try? Does that mean we continue to sin so grace can abound? Certainly not. We're looking outside of ourselves. Extra notes, you've hit. <laughs> I say before you go, get that extra note.